Ever since I started at Polaroid, which is 11 years ago now, every year I get asked the same question. What's the best Polaroid camera to buy? And the i2 is basically the quest to answer that question. My name is Oskar Smolikovsky. I'm 33. I'm chairman at Polaroid. I've been working on the Polaroid i2 camera for over four years now. And today we wanted to show you the vision behind the i2, who was involved in creating it, and how it came together. I really wanted to make sure we have a team that knows a lot about making analog cameras. This is the most complex camera we've ever made, most advanced lens we've ever made, the best ranging. We wanted to push it a couple steps further, and I think it's important to realize that we were setting up engineering at Polaroid from scratch. I think everything started with the lens. Nobody really makes mechanical cameras anymore. So if we wanted to bring in expertise, we'd have to look back. And one place created more camera history than any other place in the world. And that place is Japan. これまでの業界での経験は1967年にオリンパスに入りましてそれから36年間オリンパスにいました業界ではデジタルカメラの海の親と言われています小島さんから送れること10年えっと1977年にオリンパスに入社しました入社してからずっとカメラの設計開発の
we lowered the shoulders a little bit, we exposed that lens up, and I think we came up with something that's beautiful. Polaroid I2 instant camera, we have a continuous focus system of, of three lenses that rather than choosing between near and far, it, it can have every degree in between those two distances. So you really get much more control over your, your focusing. Following directly on from that is you, you can't have a continuous focus lens without a really, really good ranging system. So for ranging, we use LiDAR. It's very, very precise at telling you the location. It basically blasts a laser and then it measures the time that the laser comes back. So as we developed the camera, we all got different prototype series cameras all around the world, and we were all testing them simultaneously. And obviously, everyone is looking for their kind of thing. So we took about 3,000 images. After that, we all talked about the images, or what features have or what features. My name is Stina Bauer-Dahlberg. I head up the product team here at Polaroid. To me, the vision behind the i2 was always that it is a call for mastery. It is a call to arms to go back to seeing photography as a craft. It's not about a million photos on your phone, but a few that you really care about. It might not be perfect, but that's kind of part of the beauty. It takes a lot of practice, it takes failing, and it takes trying again. But once you get that shot, there won't be anything better. Shooting instant analog photography should be in everybody creator's journey, whether you are an architect or a photographer. There's six modes in the i2 camera. There's automatic mode, aperture priority, shutter priority, manual mode, multiple exposure, and self-timer. So it starts off in automatic mode. Um, so you can go all the way plus two stops or minus two stops. So that's just darker, lighter. That's really it for the automatic center and light. And then you get into things like aperture control. In aperture priority mode, you can choose which f-stop you want to shoot in from f8 to f64, and the camera will adjust the shutter speed to match the aperture at that given light condition. So shutter priority you can use for different scenes. If you want a really fast shutter speed, like 1 over 250, you can take great shots of moving objects, and the moving objects will be sharp. If you're doing something like a cityscape at night, you might need 20, 30 seconds, and you can also set that. You can make any distance sharp between 40 centimeters and infinity. So manual mode basically lets you choose your perfect combination and the camera will tell you what the exposure will be like. So whether you're under or you're over based on the, the center weighted light metering and ranging. We really wanted these manual options for photographers because ultimately when you're deep in your craft and you want a little bit more of that control, you want something very specific, like more depth of field, less depth of field, more motion blur, less motion blur. And I think it's also a bit of a journey. You start off in auto mode, you learn the basics, and then as you go deeper and deeper, you might want that control. What it's like holding it feels absolutely great uh, to see the final result and to, to see the images that come out. The, the, the photographs that I've been able to take with this camera are incredible. So this whole team, all the way from Japan to Taiwan to London to Amsterdam, Everyone really put their heart and soul into this, and it's been driven by passion like nothing else. Finally, we have a camera that can truly compete in terms of photography quality with the legends of Polaroid. We have a lens that's sharper than the SX70. We have all these manual controls that give photographers the ability to, to really hone in on exactly the kind of photo they want to make. To the community that's been with us through the Impossible Project, to Polaroid for the last 10 years, I wanted to say thank you for sticking it through with us, but it's finally here. I think it's a camera that's really been worth the wait and can't wait to see what you guys come up with it.